All right, guys. This is um. This is how I make my uh, my bird seed. This is a, a half a cup of just any brand of bird seed. I use a different mixture. Get a little different color, you know. This is uh, this has some Milo, wheat, millet, and sunflower seed, and we mixed in another little bag that has some uh, cracked corn, millet, peanut chips, canary grass seed, sunflower hearts, and the uh, red millet. And then we're going to add so we can have that corny corny flavor we're going to add about a cup of uh, corn now you know there's your your shell corn it's uh, your hard feed corn and then down here is your two mixtures of the bird seed the uh, the orange ones are the one side, or the one kind, and then the uh, the white ones are all in another one. So that just gives you some little particles. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put it in this uh, pressure cooker for about an hour and a half. Now you can soak it overnight just like this in a, in a pot and then boil it for a couple of hours on the stove just until it cracks open and gets soft but um we're gonna put it in here and uh, close the lid up Set the uh, tire marker beans. Anywhere along in there is good. All right. See you guys in about an hour and a half. All right, guys. Here we are. Hour and a half later. See what she looks like in there. Ooh. Okay. All right, so. So, I obviously, goes without saying, but you want to be careful with the um, <clears throat> the hot liquid and the hot. So what I do is. We'll pour it. And strain it. Alright, so now let's throw this in the uh, sink over here. Alright, 
So as you can see, <clears throat> as you can see, you got a um, the corn. The corn is nice and swell. The uh, the bird seed is broken open, and um, what I'm going to do is. Put a mixture in here. I don't put a, a whole lot because and um, we'll throw the old chopper blade on. started doing is adding a little juice to it oops Um, no reason to chop up all of the mix because you want some left over some of this left over to put in your particle bait I'm sorry to put in as particles in your bait this is just for flavor So, you, um, now you've got this mixture that you will put in your, in your dough ball mix once we get to the lake. And, uh, I'll, uh, show you the next, uh, the next step once we get there. All right. All right, here we are, at Dr. Bowers Lake. It's a little park. Not a bad looking lake. Um, so we're gonna finish making that bait. The reason that I wait until I get to the lake or wherever I'm fishing to make my bait is because you never know what the bottom's gonna look like. So. So then, and you don't know how rough the water is or anything. So we start with some instant potatoes. We're gonna make a lot of bait, just enough for the session. All right, with the thick corn bait, or the thick corn mush we have, we're not gonna need a lot of grits to get the job done. So um, we'll just throw in a pack. And as you notice, I'm not measuring anything because, and there's some particle. This particle will break up. The mush will help keep it together. As you can see, I'm not measuring anything. I'm not that type of fisherman where you're gonna measure every little bit of bait. Just gonna make it by feel. And the type of rig you're gonna be using to fish with. If it's just a hook, you want it a little slick, uh, a little, um, a little stickier. And you'd add some more grits if you wanted it a little loose 
so it breaks quicker you just don't add as many grits um, I'm using method feeders so we'll um, we'll only make it just enough to where it breaks where it holds on enough to get to the water and then it'll fall apart all right look at that that's what your hand should look like when you finish with this type of bait and it's as simple as that all right we're gonna grab some uh, fishing rod and I'll be right back all right so we're gonna we're gonna throw a little piece of corn on the hair rig what we have on here is a tiger nut that I have fixed with a piece of cork so it'll float the tiger nuts good once it hits the water it'll start loosening up again won't be a problem and um, Well, generally you don't want to drop your your bait stops in your bait. Okay, we'll just grab another bait stop here. And you may have noticed this piece of lead. That piece of lead is to keep the the hook bait from floating up too far we don't want it too high above the bait okay There it is. We'll pull the tiger nut back. Tiger nuts you can find online or Whole Foods or something like that. And we're going to put quite a big piece of dough on there. What I like to do is I take my lead and bury it in the, the ball. Throw my hook point down everything together around it all right and that bait's ready to go it should make it out there pretty good ways we'll see that worker told me this used to be part of the court oh wow Got one? yes sir I told you he was messing around with it. Yeah. He's got a little weight to him. Yeah, he's, he's, he's pulling close to the bottom for sure. You like to net him for me, brother? Uh, you just come right over here to the right. This guy right here? Yes, sir. Right. You just come right over here to the right. Walk down there and you just put the net in the water, I'll put him right in it. No need to swipe at him, you make him mad then. There you go. Oh, 
So he's... Oh, whoa, what the heck? Well, <laughs> uh... I've never seen that before. The, uh, the net weighs 1.7, so... About 8 pounds, 9. About 9 pounds. Yeah. So... Uh, there you go, guys. About 9 pounds. He's nibbling. Locked up. Yeah, here we go. 